Right then, this is going to be a very different video from what you may be used to from me, but this is important to YouTube and content creation anywhere, really. So I'd like to think that you'll bear with me, sit through this, and end up appreciating it. And if you do, please do let me know, because I have no idea how this is going to be received otherwise. Now I'm going to get the business side of this out of the way really quickly. And please do remember, just because I'm talking about the money of the job, it does not mean that I'm only doing it for it, and I don't love my job infinitely without it, because I goddamn do, I wouldn't somehow have made it my job otherwise. YouTube makes money from placing adverts on videos uploaded to the site. That money is then split between the network, and then the network splits the money that they get with you, the content creator. You as a content creator make money based on what contracts you should have with your network and how many people watch your videos. With adblock disabled, but whatever. That's a whole other issue. The way you get views on your videos is by having subscribers, and the way you get subscribers is blind bloody luck. Because this is going off the assumption that you are good at what you do. You're not just a guy that sits in front of a microphone of terrible quality, mumbles and moans, and is bad at what he does. Let's just assume for this hypothetical that you have the quality of a channel such as Game Grumps. I pick them simply because it's an appealing thing. Their content is good and appeals to a lot of people. So let's say that this little channel of Game Grumps was not comprised of two well-known people. It's just two nobodies, but their content is fantastic. How do they get out there? Well, at that point, YouTube isn't going to be able to promote them with any of the suggested or recommended videos because they don't have the views to support that kind of promotion. It's understandable, because YouTube promotes the videos that already make them money. It's simple, it's flawed, but it is simple and it is reliable. So the only real way that channels of that size right now at this point in YouTube's life... The only way they ever actually get any exposure is by, typically, the most common, Reddit. Somebody likes it, finds it, posts it, and then enough people also like it that it gets onto the front page and then more people watch it. There's a problem with that, because YouTube isn't involved. It's just random people that watch it. There's, there's no problem with random people promoting it, but do you not think that there's not a problem with YouTube itself not having a system in place to promote upcoming content creators so that they can make more money off of said content creator? Again, business standpoint, but it's, it makes more sense if I explain this in a way where dollar signs are the incentive, because then it's all the more confusing why this doesn't happen. This little old channel has the potential to have god knows how many subscribers. I mean, if we're talking about Game Grumps, several million. This is a channel that has the quality to entertain thousands upon thousands of people, but they have no reach. They can't get out there. They pretty much have to play the YouTube waiting game, which is how every channel succeeds. Determination and patience. The determination there's no problem with, but the fact that it's a simple waiting game, waiting for the audience to eventually find you because of sheer luck or happenstance, isn't the best. With a site the size of this, hell, let's narrow it down. With Maker and its network Polaris, with the size that that is, it's exclusively only accepting people of a sizable impact. Say, 50,000 subscribers was when I was contacted, somehow. I don't know how, but I was, and now I am, and that's insane to me. But this isn't about me. This isn't about the individual, this is about the collective. I mean, it is about the individual, because the hypothetical only involves one channel, but shut up. You know what I mean. A network such as this could benefit heavily from simply promoting the people already in the network. At the end of every video of one channel, they promote other channels, maybe on a random roulette one at a time, or employing the thing that I do of implementing a whole bunch at once and telling you why you should watch them, because you like them. Simply put, content creators supporting other content creators that they enjoy watching, because they enjoy watching them and they'd like to think their audience would enjoy the same thing. Simply by doing that, you'd see all the content creators in Polaris have their growth rate likely double. And that's assuming only one channel were to promote another at the same time and not have multiple promote them all at once. I say that because a month and a half ago, roughly, I started promoting to Meta Gaming when I had 55,000, he had 40. As said, that was a month and a half ago. Now I have 85,000, and he has about 57 or 8. It's a fucking astounding and a crying shame. He doesn't have more than me now. He should, because his content is legitimately better. But once again, the way the site works, the people of better quality of work don't necessarily get the better audience size, or... <laughs> the support and recognition they deserve, but whatever. So again, if Polaris were to start promoting each other over and over again, their growth would be exponentially bigger, exponentially better. It would benefit everyone. The site would make more money, the network would make more money, the content creators would make more money, and the consumer, quote-unquote, because it's not quite the right word as you're not paying for this, but you know what I mean, even the consumer benefits as they have more content to watch, 
from more content creators. And then there's also the possibility of the part-time content creator being able to go full-time. Thanks to the support and the exponential growth at a greater rate, they're able to become full-time and support themselves solely on this. And then they are able to make more content for the people that already watch them. There isn't a single individual in that chain that loses. Not a one. Unless you're going for the silly idea that if you promote someone else, then the people that go to watch them will stop watching you. This isn't TV, you don't have conflicting time slots, and if people do stop watching you because they found somebody else, they likely would have gotten bored of you at some point anyway. That's a viewer you already would have lost. It happens all the time. It's the way YouTube works. I mean, everybody loses interest in a show. It's no different on YouTube. The only difference is, instead of just losing interest in you, they've now found somebody else to watch. Thus, and other content creator benefits, as well as the network. Sorry for constantly referring to the business side of it, but again, considering this is something that isn't being implemented, and it would make more money for everybody involved, it's confusing why it isn't implemented. So again, going back to the small channel of the quote-unquote Game Grumps hypothetical, they have no subscribers. They have about a hundred. They're nowhere near where they should be, and they're making fantastic work that should be all the way up there in the hundred thousands, but they have to wait. And they're never going to be able to get the chance, maybe they're not in a financial situation where they're able to keep doing it, and they have to focus on the job, and they lose the passion, and they just cease to make the content that they enjoyed making that other people would have watched. Because they could never find an audience. Now that being said, this hypothetical doesn't make the most sense, as if someone is that goddamn good at what they do, they'd likely keep doing it. But still, there likely are examples of stuff like that happening. People that are damn good at what they do, but aren't able to keep doing it because their life is too cram-packed with other important shit, like bills, rent, and doing your real job, quote-unquote real, as if this doesn't take fucking effort, but doing their real job to make money and survive so they drop the thing they love doing and then can't do it anymore. But surprise, surprise, you probably know where I'm going with this, if... Not only content creators of the same network were to promote each other, content creators of a certain network could promote smaller ones, build them up, and then what do you know? You've made another content creator much bigger. They're able to support themselves financially, and now they're at a level where they're able to contribute to the network that you're working for. Thus, you can recruit them into your network, and once again, there's that ringing fucking sound. Everyone makes more money. So explain to me, so many years into YouTube, how this isn't implemented as once again, everybody wins. So just to sum it up all real nice and politely, if dear old PewDiePie of a channel with damn near 40 million subscribers and about, what, three or four million views per damn video were to start doing this, can you imagine the growth a channel of my size would have? Even a channel of the size of a million subscribers? If only one person would start doing this, so many people would benefit. Because as said, the audience of the person doing the promotion benefit because they have something else to watch. And then the content creator that's being promoted naturally benefits a whole fuckton, with several million people potentially being thrown their way. You see, this is something I'm kind of passionate about, but I'm being reserved because the more emotional I get about it, the more mad I am because it's stupid to me this isn't the way it already is. Because as said, it builds up more content creators, YouTube has more people making stuff to put their damn ads on, and more people watch them, and more people make money, including YouTube itself, and the network, and everyone. I'm sorry for repeating myself, but this is the point that I'm making that I don't understand. If it is the single best business decision, why oh why is it not a decision that is being made already? This is not the part where I toot my own horn. I don't mean to do that, but I'm doing it. And I have seen every single channel I've promoted benefit at least a fucking bit. Because we are of similar sizes, and I and Tomato Gaming have both had a double the subscriber gain. Chadtronic took a nice boost when I started doing it, but because he makes slightly different content to me, he hasn't had quite the same effect, which is understandable. And then there's Hearts Bros, who is the smaller channel, who is also, while not growing quite as quickly because their quality isn't quite there, because this is the point I'm making, you can support a channel with potential and then more people from your channel go over to theirs, provide criticism, give them direction, give them confidence, give them purpose and reason, and now that little channel with potential is a bigger channel with potential and the right idea of what they need to do and where they need to go. From a business standpoint, it benefits everybody. From a creative standpoint, it benefits everybody. Because the creators are able to support each other. They can communicate between each other to coordinate stuff like this. This could be as simple as one channel contacting another and agreeing to do this cross-promotion, and then again both audiences intermingle, intertwine, and both grow much quicker. You could have the actual channel of Polaris doing this, which I believe they actually already do in some form or another, and again you could have the top channels of Polaris do this, to the smaller ones, to accelerate their growth. And then the cycle repeats. The smaller channels become bigger, 
They do the same for the then small channels, rinse repeat, and next thing you know, you have a rather booming medium slash industry, don't you? And I don't mean to sound big headed as if I'm some fucking genius. I'm not. Any viewer with a slice of a brain could look at this and think, gee, if channels are having a hard time growing, why don't they just help each other out? So again, I'm slightly repeating myself. I'd like to think that people understood why I made this. I apologize for it not being a funny, funny haha, which is what I usually do, but hey, th at the very least, this goes to show I'm not all stupid laughs, voices, and gimmicks. <laughs> not that it's a bad thing, by the way, but. You know, I do sit and think about the actual job side of this, not because it's not fun anymore, it is, it's fun every damn day. Simply because I get to play games, by that alone it's fun. I have fun editing for Christ's sake, I seem to be one of the few, Tomato being one of the others. I mean, there are so many content creators where I hear, oh, editing, so bad, but it's so fun for me. I mean, sure, there are days where I'm tired and can't be asked, but I fucking pluck up the energy and do it, because I enjoy it once I get started. So it certainly isn't because I see it so seriously because I'm not having fun, it's just because, well, this is my job. There is a serious side of it. And it's other people's jobs too, and it... <laughs> it's so easily made more comfortable for everybody if people were to do this. All you gotta do, at the end of your video, hey, watch this guy, I like him, I like to think you do too. It's literally what I say for the most part. It sounds so formulaic, rinse, repeat, and copy and pasted, but... It, it seems silly to say anything insincere and deviate from the norm. I think you should watch these guys because I like them. And if you like my content, I'd like to think you'd like them too. It's as simple as that. It's, anyway. This is something I hope that, a year from now, is no way near as rare as it is today. Content creator cross-promotion should be a thing. Not just on YouTube. It, it doesn't just apply to this, but obviously because it's what I'm doing, it, it works. I mean, shit, Twitch has a better idea of this. At the end of a stream, they raid someone else. Why the fuck that doesn't happen here? I don't know. That's literally the idea. Hey, my video's ended. Here are some more to watch, and they're not just mine. Here's the chance to discover somebody else to fall in love with content-wise. It's such a simple thing, and I, I only just realized Twitch already does that with the raids. Although not everybody does them, I guess, but every fucking stream I've watched does. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to think that uh, you, the consistent viewer of this channel, are not pissed off. <laughs> well, one, I'd like to think you're still listening to this at this point. I'd imagine the viewer drop-off went after like the first minute when I said it wasn't going to be funny. But if you are still watching this, thank you very much, and I'd like to think you understood why I made this. If you're, uh, if you're a content creator watching this, for the love of God, do this. That's, I don't know how to end a serious video, so... <laughs> I'd like to think you enjoyed this. I'd like to think the point was made and understood. I'd like to think change is going to come, and as said, this is actually not a problem a year from now. Because if every content creator started doing this, there'd be a lot more content creators. I just talked for like 30 minutes about utter tosh. Ugh, people come to your channel to laugh and smile. They don't come to fucking think about the business decisions of a site. <laughs> oh, I gotta go get something to eat, because fuck me, do I have an empty stomach and an empty mind after all that? God help me and everybody that listened to that shite.